Sometimes random genetic changes improve an animal's ability to survive, adapt and therefore reproduce in its environment. That's evolution. And scientists have known for a while that as animals evolve, their genetic code carries reminders of all those random changes over millions of years. Now new research by a group of scientists at Howard University have seen evidence of those ancient genetic changes in the womb. We have never seen human embryos like that from the inside. We saw clearly some what you call vestigial or atavistic muscles, muscles that disappeared in evolution of adult ancestors but are present in the embryos. Biologist Rui Diogo and his team used new technology that allowed them to see 3D images of human embryos and fetuses in high resolution. And what they saw was muscle development in the hands of human embryos that seemed more like the paws of ancient reptiles than the nimble hands of a human. Diogo is demonstrating a scan of a left hand of a 10-week-old human embryo. These two muscles here, so they were lost in evolution, meaning in our ancestor adults, more than 250 million years ago. The same structures are present in all human fetuses, as well as in modern-day lizards and salamanders. Those are actually the only animals nowadays that have some of these muscles. The ancient reptile muscles disappear between the 7th and 13th weeks in the womb. It shows just how powerful an engine revolution has been. It's not easy or quick to delete things in evolution. That is the striking point also here to clearly show. The biologist says his latest research also has medical implications. It adds predictability. It was once thought that severe birth defects are completely random, says Diogo, who teaches anatomy to medical students at Howard. But actually, there is a pattern. These things that you see as vestigial in the embryos, they are the ones that will actually remain normally in people with birth defects. So if you are doing a surgery or something of a, a person with birth defects, you can now predict what you will probably find there. Diogo hopes that these new imaging techniques will allow his team and other scientists to find other examples of how ancient DNA is still hanging around. Igor Tikhanenko, VOA News, Washington.